Gcash Send Money. We will show you what is Gcash Express Send, Gcash Snap Send, and Gcash Send Ang Pao. And also, we will show how to send money from Gcash to another bank like BDO. Ito yung iba't ibang paraan para makapagpadala ka ng pera gamit ang Gcash for free. And if you are new to this channel and you want to see more helpful videos like this, please click the subscribe button. First, open your Gcash app. Uh, you can download this app from App Store or Play Store. And also, make sure na meron ka ng account sa Gcash. Pero kung wala pa, nasa baba yung link ng video showing how to register to Gcash. Then, log in with your M-PIN. Then, ang maganda sa Gcash, sobrang daming promo. Sa ngayon, lahat ng ways ng pag-transfer ng pera from Gcash, libre pa siya. So, I'll click this Send Money. Here, there are four options. Merong Express Send, Snap Money, Send Ang Pao, and finally, Send to Bank. Ang pinakapaborito ko rito is yung Send to Bank. Pero itong Express Send, Snap Money, Send Ang Pao, hindi rin ito papatalo. I'll show you why. For Express Send, type mo lang yung number and then the amount. Uh, since testing lang naman to, piso lang i-transfer ko. Then, click done. And optional lang naman tong message, pero maglagay na din ako. May limit yung message ng 60 characters lang. Then, click confirm. And here's the confirmation. May na-receive na rin akong text as proof na nakapag-transfer na ako. I'll check then kung na-receive na rin ang kasama ko. And ito na siya. Na-receive niya agad yung piso. Here's the time kung anong oras niya na-receive while ito naman kung kailan ko pinasa or sinend yung 1 pesos. Real time naman yung pag-transfer so maganda siya. Wala akong na-encounter na any issue with Gcash sa paggamit ng Express Send. Then next is Snap Money. Make sending money more fun. So basically, same lang siya almost ng Express Send except that you can make it more special. As mentioned here, pwede kang mag-fund transfer Plus, you can include or send also photos, videos, or recording. And yung message is magla-last ng 72 hours or 3 days. Tama ba? 3 days? Yes. So, example, uh, kung magkapadala ko ng allowance, pwede itong snap send. And mag-include na din ako ng message kapag mag-send ako ng pera. But for this video, ang gagawin ko is mag-send lang ako ng 10 pesos just for, again, testing purposes. So, enter the number. Ito yung number na nakalink sa Gcash account. Then, the amount. Then, I'll enter the message. Pwede share photo, add video, or send recording. Pero, explore ko tong themes. Ito yung mga options. Uh, Madami-dami siya. For featured, uh, about Game of Thrones. Meron ding trending. Here's for thank you message, also greetings, quotes and jokes, living the life, and lastly, Gcat. So, ang piliin ko is itong greetings, then I miss you. And click next. Then click this button. And here's the confirmation. And also, na-receive ko na din yung text na na-send na yung pera. So, i-check ko sa kasama ko kung na-receive na nga niya. Yung pinagpadalhan ko ng pera, may na-receive siyang in-mail sa loob ng Gcash app. So, kapag Gcash snap send, hindi siya makaka-receive ng text. Instead, ang may receive niya is in-mail. Saying na, you just got snap money, just like this. So, if you will open this, uh, there's another button that you need to click. So click this open snap button. And meron pa isang button na need niyang i-click. So click this open snap. And it will reveal the message that I sent. It could include a personal video or recording depende sa sinend mo. So yung wallet balance niya nagdagdagan ng 10 pesos. Kanina 830 pesos lang to. So uh, again, sa Express Send, text yung may receive niya, katulad nito. 
while for snap send, in mail naman sa GCash app yung may receive ng receiver. Yun yung kaibahan ng dalawa. Next is send ang pao. Almost the same lang din siya. Except that pwede kang mag-send sa higit sa dalawang tao or higit sa dalawang GCash user. Parang gift siya in a form of an ang pao. So dito, uh, ilang tao yung bibigyan mo ng ang pao. Let's say dalawa. Then choose equal amounts ba or random amounts. Ito siya to be clear. For equal amounts, kung magkani nilagay mo sa amount, yun yung maging laman ng each ang pao. For random amounts, hati and randomly kung magkani maging laman ng kada ang pao. Kung magkani yung sinet mo na total amount, yun yung i-distribute sa lahat ng mga ang pao. Iba-iba yung maging presyo or yung amount niya. And you can choose the ang pao design here. Ganon siya. This time, hindi ko muna to itry. And finally, send to bank. So, click ko tong send to bank option. And then, ito yung ibang uh, banko na pwede. Hindi pa ito yung complete list. I'll click this view all. And lalabas yung mga banko na pwede kang mag-send ng pera from GCash. For this purpose, uh, itatry kong mag-send ng money sa video. So, tap this option, video. Then, enter the amount. So, I'll enter 40 pesos. Then, enter the account name ng owner ng video na pag ko ng pera. And then, next is the account number. Be careful with these details. Dapat tama yung mga information na nilalagay mo dito. And then, optional lang to kung gusto mong isend yung receipt or proof of transaction sa email. So, ang gagawin ko, ilalagay ko yung email address ko dito. And it says here, na your convenience fee is waived for this transaction. And click send money. And verify the details. And click confirm kung tama naman yung amount. Uh, by the way, this is powered by Instapay. Parami na ng parami yung mga banko na gumagamit na Instapay. And I'm glad na isa yung GCash sa mga nauna. Sobrang convenient niya. And your bank transfer is being processed. Ito yung account name. Ito yung account number. Dapat tama to or else you need to file a dispute kung nagkamali ka sa pag-send ng pera. And hintayin ko lang din yung text as proof of this transaction. Naghintay ako ng 24 hours para may ma-receive na text and email as confirmation. Pero unfortunately, wala akong na-receive. Wala rin na dagdag na 40 pesos sa BDO account ko. Pero nabawasan yung balance ko sa GCash. Uh, possible issue is sunod-sunod kasi ako nag-send ng pera. Uh, remember, nag-send ako gamit ang Express Send and then Snap Send. And then nag-send din ako to another bank which is BDO. Pero hindi ako sure kung yun talaga yung issue. So, sa next video, I'll try to send money again uh, from GCash to other banks like BPI, Land Bank, Security Bank, and also to BDO to check kung normal ba yung ganitong issue. And I want to highlight this na things like this may happen hindi lang sa GCash. Pwede rin sa ibang um, online facility. Ang importante is malaman natin kung ano yung gagawin o ano yung response ni GCash once na erase ko na yung ganitong issue. So, stay tuned for my next video. Uh, malalaman nyo kung ano yung ginawa kong steps para makuha ulit yung pera ko. Nahirapan ba ko or natagalan ba? So, please subscribe para mag updated ka sa mga upcoming videos namin. And this is Lulu from Invest Library. Until next time, bye-bye!